Hey, you wanna hear irony? My roommate who knows how to do computer stuff, he went away for like eight days oh God, on vacation. Irony. And he knows how to fix the internet when it goes out, but while he was away, it was out the entire time. It came back on today. Guess when he got back? Today. After. I don't, <gasps> I don't think it's irony. Like, Isn't it ironic that the only person that the that the the internet comes back on the day? It's ironic that the guy in an Allison Morissette version of Al Alanis. <laughs> I was like, God, I love her name. Allison Morissette. <laughs> Hi, I'm Allison Morissette. My <laughs> life's kind of crazy. <laughs> Hello, welcome to I Made Joel. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Dobby. And I'm Alexis B. Bevels. The P stands for put your pants on. No, I've already done that one. Well, you do have to say it often though, because people keep, they keep taking them off. It's it is time religion. for Canada's Drag Race Snatch Game. Yeah, we're getting right into it. You know what? I don't have time. I have, you know, you your food? girls are, your girls are in town. My girls are out of town, so I need to get home and need to get in that bath. Because you know I can't, they don't let me bathe when I'm home, when my girls are gone. When my girls are there, they don't let me bathe. Like they refuse to allow you to, or you're just so busy? Well, it's a little A, a little B. I'm so, That's you know, we're so busy are. and we're working on multiplication numbers right now. You're good at multiplication? It was one of my stronger suits. Me too. Yeah. I love multiplication. Yeah. The nines, don't get me started. For some Girl. reason, I'm really connected with the nines. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. Nine times. Times one is, huh? Nine times four. Nine times four is thirty-nine. Thirty-six. Nine times seven. Nine times seven is. Do you want to take this one? Sixty-three. Sixty-three. Well, you ask me one. Sorry, I'm asking you once I know. So you ask me once okay. you know. Nine times nine. Eighty-one. Do you know how you do it? I'll tell you. So yeah, of course you, you start with you go and you go underneath. Nine times nine, right? So nine times ten is ninety, right? But then you subtract. You subtract nine. Nine times what? Nine. Ninety minus nine is eighty-one. Nine times four, so like you go to forty minus four is thirty-six. Isn't that brilliant? What? Did you lose uh, a nine? I stepped on the fan and I got nervous. Well, before we get into the episode completely, we are dressed specifically because of the theme of the episode, because the runway was what? Made in Canada. Made in Canada. This is a friend of the pod, Wilma Fingerdews, one of her red bubble merch. Are you, you burped like three times since I started. I've had sentence. a lot of, I've had a lot of, <laughs> had a lot of Diet Coke. Okay. Which I found out recently is caffeinated. This is Wilma Fingerdew. She's, it's adorable. Uh, well, I like it because you know what it is? It's funny, girl. It's Leah Michelle slander. It just it <laughs> drives the nail in, you know, because yeah. obviously she will have nothing to do with it. I don't, isn't it so cute? It's really well, Mama, this cute. is really cute. It's she has a really lot of cute. new stuff. She keeps her red bubble store popping. A bubbling, like oh, popping. Because you go. Oh, is that clever? Yeah. Make sure you stop by Red Bubble and look at her store. Her store is so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna, I might this do that. so cute. I feel adorable. Super cute. And of course, Made in Canada, Runaway Prompt, I am dressed like acclaimed singer-songwriter Alison Morissette, who mm. co-wrote such songs as Ironic. Mm -hmm. She also co-wrote the Canadian National Anthem, which is just which, like... how does that go? Oh, Canada, your horses have weird ears. They confuse antlers with horses' right, right, ears. Right. You can't hear from You those. do things sometimes better than everyone else, but mm. also sometimes not. Which brings us to Canada's Drag Race. Uh, wait, don't put that in. <laughs> Alexis! <laughs> don't put that in. <laughs> <laughs> you said that with your full chest knowing that Down Under exists. You're right. Wow. I'm so sorry. Wow. Don't put that in. No, we watched, <laughs> we watched Drag Race Down Under. And you said that? Don't put that in. Okay. I, got, I do know. Well, let's be honest. We love Eve. But love. other than Eve, it's been a hard... I'm, uh, no, uh, okay. Don't say other than Eve. No. Uh, okay. Uh, no, 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 give me a chance of... to defend myself. Mm. Except for the girls. The judging and the production has left me frustrated and not excited Wanting. to watch this episode. But when I did watch it, didn't I say? 
Yes. This was a fun episode. Yes. And I really enjoyed watching it. Well, I liked okay. it. Okay. Okay. But, you know but the judging join, so far has side. been... I'm going to join your I'm The join judging your so far side. has I'm been I'm going to make up. everyone hate me as much as they hate you now. I called you today. I'm going to be honest. I called you today. I had watched UK. I was going to the store to get wine so I could make sure, you know, like mm. our relationship stays, you know, on that Moist. level. And I said, hey, have you watched Canada yet? And you said yes. And I said, do I have to watch it? And you said you should at Snatch Game. And I was like, okay, I watched it. Had fun. Had fun. This was a fun watch. I had watch. so much fun. We always watch what we, we were We here. do. But I, you know, and I... But we're always looking to cut corners. We're, oh my always God. Always yes, looking absolutely. to cut corners. Yeah, I mean, that's... Don't even look at our, our accounting, okay? Because our accountant is, is, is a dog. JB, did you know that? JB just yeah, got her, she runs her accounting CPR firm. license. What is it called? CPR, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she, because she breathes life into our, you know, and that's why we do numbers. So we get into Snatch Game, and our guest judges, first is Brad. I'm assuming it's because of the Rachel Zoe moment. That was interesting, right? Because how could she have known Brad was going to, because Brad wasn't on last season. I wonder if she had that already, and it was just a, a, a stroke of genius. She had a few different options, maybe. And then she decided to go with that. It won in her favor, because she was yeah, really good. Did. But then the other judge, I don't Bowman. know him. Bowman Martinez-Reed, he gorgeous. is on TikTok. He's he gorgeous. is so. Not only is he hot, attractive. So hot. He is so, so funny. You should look at his, some of his stuff. He's funny. He's really no. funny. He's really funny. No, I don't allow and that. And he's good at you like... You can't be both he incredibly does, hot and No, nice. it's, fu it's infuriating. Mm. Uh, and he does some That's stuff. my job. He does so TikTok beautiful. versions of like... He does some RuPaul's Drag Race stuff, but he'll do like Real Housewives with just his mom and his sister and his friend. I can't, I can't do it justice. I'll send you some. It's really funny. I just want to like... Okay. I just want to eat. Okay. Also, he's so he's so expressive, and that's why they kept showing him reacting to everyone because he's so gorgeous. Con okay, consensually, obviously, always consent. But I just want to like I want to put my face as close as I can to his face, right? Eye contact. Not. Hang on. Not kissing, but just like face to face, and then I want to make him laugh. I'll say something really funny. I'll I'll pull out the poo poo pee pee right when I'm right here, right? So he's laughing, he's smiling, and I just want to go and lick his teeth. You know what I want to do? What? Consensually. I just, I want to hold hands on the couch watching a TV show and then like it gets late and we're tired and then we go from this to like lay laying down, cuddle. Oh, I do that with Curtis like every day. And then I want to scooch my butt into his boner. Oh, that was like the first That took it a little together. too Yeah, far. I am. Yeah. I'm so tired. Pythia, they are Grimes. I don't know about Grimes, but we all know the jokes about Elon Musk and their son at R2-D2. It was kind of funny because they're, they're broken up now. At yeah. the time of filming, they were husband and wife. Or I don't know what they called each other. I don't know. Be I don't know their lives. Be bop and fax noise. <laughs> 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 yeah, like that. <laughs> couple, <laughs> couple of couple of years, maybe <laughs> popping fax noise. That is so good. I love Ooh. it when I get you. Uh. Be pop. <laughs> I thought she was funny. I, yeah, I thought she, she played into the whole like electronic thing really well. <laughs> Shitting out nuts or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Kimora Amor as Leslie Jones, friend of the show, friend of Drag Race. Friend of Pod. Stan yeah. of Drag all, Everywhere. One of the looked, best guest judges yeah, ever. Looked gorgeous. I thought she did a good job. I did too. They didn't show her a lot. The judges were like, it was great. You know, it was a little one note. And then Brooklyn goes, but that's kind of Leslie Jones. And she's always at a 10. I thought she did a good job. They didn't show a lot of her. I wanted to see more. I thought it was solid. Yeah. Yeah. Isis Couture as La Veneno. Now, I think at the time of filming, La Veneno was at the height of its. Mm -hmm. So. Netflix story, yeah. Look down. Gorgeous. And she had the mannerisms, the physicalization. There weren't a lot of jokes there, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't she, a bad snatch game, I don't she think. She also did something really smart, which was as she was introducing herself to the judges or whatever, she said the something's as oh, and bad this as accent my accent. Is bad. Brilliant. You let them in on the poor character so that they're comfortable when they, they see that reflected back. I thought that was brilliant. Brilliant. I think that would only work on Canada's Drag Race. I don't think that would have flown with RuPaul. 
I don't know. It depends on like how many back pain meds she was on. Cause sometimes it, Home Alone will do it for her. Kendall Jenner as Kris Jenner. I love when she called Brooklyn Ellen. <laughs> I loved it. Everyone was taking the piss out of Brooklyn. Which she is got what Ellen. we saw in season she one. Got... <laughs> yeah, people just shit all over Brooklyn. She got Ellen. She got, wait, someone else. She got Brooklyn. They didn't show a lot of her, which makes me think she didn't do very well. Yeah, um, great. Right? Yeah. Chris Jenner's funny. Suki Doll as Yoko Ono in the bottom role. Now, I, we were talking about this. I kind of think shenanigans. I kind of think production could have cut this in a way. Because you th I think if RuPaul was judging, no she would have just laughed at her. Did you laugh? I thought... No one responded in a positive way. I don't think that's an edit. I think it was poor. I think it was... Okay, I maybe I'm just bad. allowing my bias because I, I love Suki Doll. I do too. I think it's... But even your favorites, even your favorites can make a mistake. Okay. I mean, I've never made a mistake, but I do pray for those who have. You. Geometric, now she was either gonna do Anna Ferris or Jim Carrey. Anna Ferris is in the news right now because everyone is shitting on her ex, Chris Pratt, which is hilarious. <gasps> I think it's funny to shit on white men. This, I, this is one, okay, if I, okay, I rub a, rub a lamp, right, a genie comes out, what do you want? I would ask for like money and, and good knees or whatever, but then I would also, I think I would use one of mine to say, can we go back to Chris Pratt being the like cute, funny guy, everyday kind of guy on Parks and Rec? and leave him there. Cause this Pr Chris Pratt, like alternate reality that we're in, not for me. I saw a TikTok today that terrified me. It said, hey, everyone's shitting on Chris Pratt right now for his weird Christian shit. I don't think he's trying to build a career further in Hollywood. He's already reached the pinnacle. I think he's training to become a candidate for Republican office. I think he's gonna become a politician. That shook me to my core. We need to burn pop. We need to burn the system that is in place down. Oh, and his house. She went with Jim Carrey. I thought it was good. I thought it was actually pretty good. I thought it was fine. I just I love Anna Ferris. I love that impression. Anna Ferris. Do you still listen to her podcast ever? No, I've, I've dropped. I off. tried. I tried. I also dropped off. I, I used to her. listen to it because she was one of the first. House Bunny. Yeah, but no, House she Bunny's was, one of the most perfect movies. She was one of the first celebrities to have a podcast. Successful podcast. That yeah. other super famous celebrities would come on now, and of course during the pandemic, everyone has a podcast. But right. in early days, what's your favorite it was celebrity podcast? Her. Is there any celebrity podcast that you listen to? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say, even though I don't listen to every episode, Table Manners with Jessie Ware and her mom, because all it is is about food, the great mm. unifier, and they get the Jessie Ware. She's a British artist. Oh, yes, 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 And yes, she, sorry. yes. No, I didn't know she was an artist either. I, I, sometimes I Google my favorite stars and I look on what podcasts they're on. And mm. Amelia Clark, Khaleesi, was on an episode, was on her podcast. They don't do it anymore during pandemic, but they, they used to make a meal for the person. They've had oh, everyone. Oh, you told me about this. They had Shea Kulea. Yeah, Because yeah. she's a huge Drag Race fan. That's amazing. What's yours? Oh, okay. Again, one that I don't, I pop in and out of. It's honestly one of my favorites to listen to if I'm not tired at night. I think it's a really soothing, kind of funny, I chuckle and I fall asleep in a good mood. Sarah Silverman. Oh! She has a podcast that literally is just her talking for an hour. Oh, and that could be fun. It sounds like it, it shouldn't be, but I think she's brilliant. I think the fact that her show got canceled is insane. Did you watch her, her show? You're the reason it got canceled. I don't know it's something that you can binge or like do a lot of all at once because it is just one person talking at you, but it's smart. It's funny. It's, are it's you sweet. I love it. Are you listening to the My Favorite Murder Celebrity Hometowns? I am. Yeah, it's fun so far. Yeah, I listen to all My Favorite Murder stuff. Oh, the other celebrity, it's not run by a celebrity, but okay, this is for old, oh no, people our age who are coming to terms with the fact that they are getting older, but don't truly realize their place in this world and the fact that they are still young, okay? <laughs> yeah! It's called, it's empowering, it's called 70 over 70. Okay, so math. it's gonna be 70 episodes and they only interview people who are over the age of 70. I know it sounds crazy. I know you're like, ugh, who cares? It is so enlightening. It's so enlightening to hear the world through the eyes of like, they have some people who are 70. They have some people who are 102. Like it's so interesting and it's all celebrities. Like it's all, they always have a regular person for the first like Do 10 minutes. Do they have that lady from the Titanic? Madeline Albright. Mm -hmm. Do they have that lady from the Titanic yeah, who dropped the- Yeah, she saved him. 
Who dropped the jet ne necklace in? She's dead. One of my favorite episodes was honestly Madeline Albright. And I'm not saying that she did everything right. She definitely didn't. Who's she that? didn't do everything all bright, you know? I don't think people in their 20s or younger would enjoy it, but I think people who are coming to terms with their own mortality will realize that our lives and our, our beings are more than just our expectations of what we can be. Seven or seventy. Eve as Bernie Sanders. I looked great. I I wanted yeah. to see the rest of it. I don't. I, I can't judge by on what they show. Okay, but judged by what we saw and what she said in her talking head, she had Bernie Sanders. She just you could see her kind of freeze with it. Instead of taking Bernie Sanders to this insane place, which is where you have to take political figures. It's not funny unless they're just absolutely outrageous. Yeah. Why was Donald Trump such a, a huge thing for the Vivian? Because Donald Trump is an insane figure. You don't really have to exaggerate him. She should have exaggerated him to the point that he is cutting people off because he has to talk about sharing wealth or you know what I mean like going to one of the more rich people and and being like what are you gonna do you gonna pay you're gonna pay for for somebody's health care look look that guy didn't have health care you gotta pay for his health care you just did Ramona as Bernie Sanders or you Which did honestly, Anthony as Bernie she Ramona is just a few a few college courses online away from being a Bernie Sanders I believe that DeVry. Oh my God, DeVry. So my Avery, my Avery goes to DeVry. And so her friends are like, That's what friends. she was named after. Yeah, she's named Avery. after. Avery. It's named Avery. after DeVry. Avery. I put, I wrote the D weird, so it looked like an A. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say this, and I mean this. You're doing really well this episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Rihanna as Sofia Vergara. Big titties, big titties. Big titties, big expectations. Yeah, the big look, disappointment. The look and the hair and the performance were a little flat. Especially for someone who just came off of winning. Yeah, and she's so good. And we love her. I, I, uh, you can't dislike Adriana. Or Sophia. I mean, you can, because she's so rich and beautiful. Her son, hot. You're too old, don't say that. Cynthia Kiss as Rachel Zoe. Star. This was good. This is exactly what they were saying. And what luck that she had. I want to say Joel Goldberg, but that's you. It's um, Brad Goreski to bump off, to, to back and forth with. And Who's she Joel did it Goldberg? so. Penn Badgley's character in the hit Netflix series, You. <gasps> yes. Oh my yeah. God, I have two episodes left. Of season three? Yeah. What do you think so far? Loving. Everyone watch You on Netflix yes. today. Sp sponsored. Cynthia Here. as Rachel Zoe. Did you, did you, know you watch? Did you know where she... Yes, of course I did. Rachel Zoe Project? I didn't. Every single episode. I loved it. It was early reality TV. It's a little sloppy, a little messy. To know that they had a little beef, right? They like had a falling out. And then Cynthia, that was a brilliant idea. And to see Brad almost react and relive some of these moments with Rachel was hilarious in he's, real time. He's got to though, like he's got to, sorry to stereotype, but he's he's got to want to like dish on her and be like a sassy gay ex, right? Like he, he's yeah. got to want, so I, I thought it was brilliant. And did you notice where she was seated in Snatch Game? She was the final person. Oh yeah. And on Drag Race UK last week, the winner was also seated in the final seat. Do you think the producers were aware of the effect that she would have? But, DA Devil's Advocate, Your Honor, mm -hmm. a lot of the girls who have won have sat at that very first top seat. Bianca was up there, other people were up there. Okay. Oh, Jinx. Okay, but the people at the end, this winner, the <clears> winner <throat> from Drag Race UK, Adele, Bob as Carol Channing, and uh, Orange is the New Black, Chad Michaels as Cher. I just think Bendela, there's... Bendela, yeah, it's usually always that or that. Yeah, I think there's... I, it's, number, it's a numbers okay. game. Yeah, it's a numbers game, which is why we have our, our accountant, JB, right here. JB, yeah. what do you think of the number seven? She's so cute in her little green visor yes, and armband. Not into the number seven. Running she numbers. Did not move. Her ear twitched. I love her little like ticker tape receipts. Was that Mary Poppins yeah. when he does that at the bank? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. That he bank scene birds. always scared me. And, yeah. How about Dick Van Dyke coming back for Mary Poppins 2, Back in the Habit, and he dances. Only oh, good thing about years that movie. Old. Dick Van Dyke is incredible. Wait, what? Angela Lansbury's in that movie. Isn't she in the last two seconds? You said the only good thing about that movie was
was Dick Van Dyke dancing. Okay, I'm sorry, let me rephrase. The only thing that I thought was good. I'm so mad earlier? at that. Do you know what I said earlier? I'm so you know mad at that movie. I said I was enjoying you this episode. Mm -hmm. Take Opposite it all back. Day. Opposite day. Take it all back. Opposite day. Okay. Angela Lansbury sings in that movie. Isn't she in the very end? Doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Because as you know, whoever's at the end wins. Or no. Moving on. <laughs> All right, let's go to this runway. We have special oh, we guest twink. judge Connor Jessup, and I didn't know who he was, but I did know who he was. He's in the new Netflix series Lock and Key, which season <gasps> three just aired, so that's probably why he. Did okay, this. did you attempt it? Oh, I loved it. I love Lock and oh, Key. Oh, you watched it? Okay. I, well, I, I loved it. it. I did a few well, episodes. Well, because he's I, very hot in that show. This felt weird. I did not know that this was who he was, which I guess speaks to how good of an actor he is, because in the show he's like. Straight bro -y. I think it was the eyeliner. Well, uh, he's oh, the guest judge. I found out this week? Brooke looks great. So I was just thinking, what am I reading right now? I read the 1994 Guinness Book of World Records that's in my bathroom. And I found out today via TikTok, very young, that the Guinness Book of World Records, do you know why it was made? To unite the troops? To stop bar fights because people would get drunk and they'd fight over basic like facts and, and like stories at a bar and be like, no, you're wrong. So Guinness, the beer company, created it. Oh, I'm sorry that you were like doing that because you were so shocked, you were yawning. Okay, never mind. Created that to stop bar fights. That's amazing. Isn't that so interesting. That is interesting. Sorry. No, I actually, I like that. Yeah, Brooklyn looks That's kind of like what we're doing here. Getting into bar fights. Ugh. Brooklyn looked great, and I love that her hair matched the pattern on the dress, but I would love for it to be bigger. Can I say that? Oh, I didn't mind it with her. She always does a smaller hair, and I, I just, especially with like her more muscular arms and that particular look, I would like to see something bigger on top to kind of balance her biceps, which is something I have to do a lot, you know, because of my biceps, and they're so big, and, like, because I, you know, I'm so strong. First up is Kamora Amor. Uh, that made in Canada. She was doing um, who Josephine as Josephine Baker. Baker. But no, she was doing someone as Josephine Baker. A Canadian oh, actress. yes, she was. She was doing Deborah, Deborah Cox. Cox. Deborah Cox. Okay, so uh, up first. I time. walked out of of Jekyll and Hyde. I walked out of Prime Time. <laughs> yeah, but Deborah Cox was there when I walked out of Jekyll and Hyde. She was there, or she was in it. She was in it. I didn't see her perform the big song because I had to leave because I couldn't stand it. It's a bad show. Someone like you. I, I saw, missed her singing it. Oh. I did sing her, see her doing the like, bring on the men. Brilliant. Oh, Deborah Cox uh, is a force, okay? D she hand stoned and feathered this. It's gorgeous. It's it is gorgeous. pageanty. Very pageant. She looks beautiful and she yes. looks, she's working that way. Okay. I do, I do think it's kind of funny that she was like, oh, I'm gonna do a Josephine Baker look because a Canadian person played her. That's funny. That's yeah. funny. I love a workaround. Up That's a smart queen. Yes. Up next, another lady in yellow. This is Cynthia Kiss as... April from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah. Or I was going to say Courtney Cox from Scream. No, she's doing some uh, interview. She's doing the, the interview lady. Okay. Don't love, know the reference, but love I love the oversized suit. shoulder. My only thing... And I think it's, oh, okay. We didn't even talk about this. They I, did the library, right? I'm excited and for I, I think the only reason I, it was even on my mind was they that. said, that's okay, they've been to libraries before. Someone made fun of Gina saying she had like a string body. And Gia. Yes. G, did I say Gina? <laughs> yeah. That's Allison's. That's Allison Allison's sister. sister. Well, they were songwriting yeah. duo. <laughs> yeah, I know. They are. I, that's very it's famous. Very right that she was very on unironic. But I loved it. I loved the oversized shoulders, but with the tiny little body with no kind of body, I wish there was some sort of embellishment on the bottom just to balance the top. That's all. All right, Suki doll as Sandra O. Oh. I loved it. This was so beautiful. That coat with the oversized buttons. And her, then, her style is, it's like Brooklyn said, her style is top tier. So top tier. Adriana is Vanessa Morgan. It's a very serpentine kind of look. I thought she Rocker looked, chick. I thought she looked incredible. You know what this is? This what? is Descendants, but for adults. Okay. Have Brit you seen the Brittany Descendants? Snow? Brittany Snow, Brittany, is her name? Dove Cameron. Dove Cameron. So same, because they played the same part. You ever seen the Descendants? No. It's actually really good. Do they, so they just go down and down until they get to the bottom? Yeah. Hmm. Sorry. 
geometric as Mike Myers, but blonde. Blonde. The costume is brilliant. I loved it. I think she looks incredible. I wish the hair had been brown. I know that's like really basic, like a that's a strange hill to die on. But I, I wish See, it, it had seems been... like it seems like something judges in the past would have picked apart. Well, also, but like it's not that she, her her signature is not blonde. It's not like it was Gia doing Mike Myers or Michael Myers. Wait, which one's the killer. Austin Powers. So like the fact that, that she chose confusing. that. He should have changed his name. Oh, I agree. Or killed someone. So for her to not be like signature blonde, I thought it was a strange choice, but she looks great. Yeah, weird. Kendall Gender. Stacey McKenzie. As Stacey McKenzie. I loved it. Yeah, I loved she it. Looks I also great. felt for her because you know she planned it thinking that Stacey, Stacey was, gonna was gonna be, be there. there. Oh, I know that That's sucks. So sad. But she looks great. She looks gorgeous. Oh, Eve 6000 as Matrix. Carrie Ann Moss from The Matrix. Matrix. She looks Matrix gorgeous. Looks, it looks gorgeous. Now, her hair was so flat. I'm just kidding. It's, it not, no, I'm kidding. it's not flat, right? No, it's not. Yeah. I that was bonkers when Twink was like, your hair's flat. And then she was like, no, uh, it's not. It's not flat. But okay. Honestly, it's I'm not, not mad at her because it's not flat. It's not. That was bonkers. This is the drag version of Slicked Back. And I, had he done Slicked Back, we all would have been like, that hair's too small. Exactly. Well, and I love too that she said, like, I've done a lot of campy looks. I wanted to do something different. And fierce. This was gorgeous. Yeah. Body, Although I did, I did, face. I did appreciate she took every cliche every one set on the runway and said all three of them i'm cinched within an inch of my life yeah i'm walking puddles on the runway i just and I, I, and I and i saw the light and i went i went to the light christine we just watched Carol that. Ann. We watched that on Halloween. We did. Good for us. But it looks great. Yeah. And I love the I love the take on it. It's always a fashion stunning. Take spin. She's stunning. Isis Couture. This is it. She is Sandra O oh with her iconic role as Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I'm Sandra, Sandra O oh with her iconic, iconic role, role as Grey's, Grey's Anatomy. Anatomy. Now this is, now I've never watched Grey's Anatomy. I watched the first like two or three seasons. Now it's on season 27. So I, I don't know what's going on right now. I, well, I was shook because about 10 years into the show, I thought he was Grey, McDreamy. I had no clue it was about that other girl. Misogyny. And finally, Pythia as Moira Rose. Moira Rose. Catherine O'Hara. Catherine O'Hara. So good as the crow winning. So good. Now this is one thing that I cannot deny. I try to, I can't. Alexis P. Bevels, you do a stellar Moira Rose. I'm serious, it is so good. So the minute I saw her walk out, all I kept thinking was, if Alexis did this on the runway, her entire like narration would be in the voice of Moira Rose, which is what I was missing from this. It was brilliant, but I wanted to hear the voice. Would you mind giving a little Moira Rose explaining this look? Oh, this is a lot of pressure. Uh, I'll cut it if it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> In the lee of a picturesque ridge lives a drag queen named Pythia. As she walks down the runway in her custom crow couture, she is giving... Crow. Crow. Paying homage to one of my most prestigious roles in the crowning and the crowning to even more crows. She has delivered one of the best looks in Drag Race history, if I do say so myself. Alexis, that is, it's good. Thank you! It's really good. <gasps> I think you'd be the best Moira Rose for Snatch Game. The winner is Cynthia Kiss. Well deserved. Very well deserved. So um, And so happy to see her come back from lip syncing to winning. I love that storyline. Yeah, she won $5,000 courtesy of like spray tan or whatever. Made. I love that, that she actually got the money instead of the product, which unfortunately is what Isis got stuck with. Remember when she won like fabric? But girl, the bottoms are Suki and Eve. This is tough because I don't want to see Suki go, but you know this is an Eve stan account. Oh, this is an Eve apologist account, some would say. And it's a good, it's a, a, a it's a good lip sync. It was such a bummer to see Suki in the bottom. Seeing Suki in the bottom and just immediately having to be against her because like Eve stands. Yeah, I was so bummed. I was relieved that she got sent home because I think the show would be way more boring without Eve, but uh, sad. Sad, but uh, 
what a way to go. Lovely, graceful. She had a good oh, message. Yes. She was uplifting. Um, she's I, she's a star. I want more of her. Yeah, both of this week on UK and Canada, we've had contestants leave that I want to see more of. That was, and I'm yeah, hoping that we were do. really, really tough. And it was a tough week. Yeah. But Eve, you not only made it, you also had a legitimate reason to cry. I forgot that we skipped over the library. The show, there showed just a lot of one, uh, yeah, only I one of everything. I can't take that on. Congratulations, Eve. Yes. We cannot wait to see you cry again next week. It is going to be beautiful and precious, and you are our precious. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little Ooh. bell notification Ooh. so you make sure you know you know when we, when we post more. <laughs> Join us on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash IMHO the show. To be graced through your ear holes with our dulcet tones, you can find us each on Cameo individually or on Shamio, which is at IMHO the show.com, where coincidentally you can find. Oh, new merch. We have For Me, Potter Me, Spooky Me merch. We heard your cries, and it's up there now. I don't want to do it too much because what oh, if okay. it's not good? It's. It's so good. I have been drinking. All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah! Did you hear Kendall Gender do... It was in a talking head. She did... Um, she did an in, imitation... Let's go use the bidet. She, oh! Uh, okay, get the camera. The prompt for this was fugly fashion. You don't look ugly. What's with that? Okay, being ugly is something I've never really been good at. I've struggled with it in On the past. The and, oh yeah, the inside, rotten. So I decided that I could do Hollywood ugly. So in doing She's All That, I put on glasses. Oh, well, I was asked to leave uh, the gay community because of who I was. So I did have to change my Not the whole gay community, that. just <laughs> Alexis! <laughs> ding, ding, roll <laughs> Because like a, you're a good person. <laughs> swing at her. <sighs> hey, you want to hear irony?